All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kudabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Kdex Continued mod, which is currently being maintained by forum user Mika, but was originally created back in the day by forum user Master Torch. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a fun new scientific experiment for you to enjoy, and frankly, who doesn't like more science? It's a beautiful thing. Now, specifically, this is actually adding in a Kerbalized version of a real-world experiment, which was the LDEX, or Lunar Dust Experiment. This one, of course, being the KDEX, the Kerbal dust experiment. So let's jump right on into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at the one and only part that this mod does have. It's uh, actually going to be a pretty short episode here today. So let's grab ourselves a Mark 1 command pod, zoom in because it is a pretty small part, and then head down to the science tab. We don't even need to use our genders closet mod filter because, well, it's just one thing here, the Kerbal Dust Experiment. And there we are, a pretty simple look looking model at first, it actually is surprisingly detailed. I mean, it may just look like a tin can on top of a box, but it's actually pretty well textured with a lot of small detailing. And then, of course, when you open the experiment itself, you get some really cool additional detailing in here, which is very nice. So, you know, they could have gotten away with just making something simple, but actually did add in some good detail. Now, as for the experiment, I love the little blurb here because it is just so very Kerbal that inside this tiny coffee can is a highly sensitive sensor which can measure the density of dust particles colliding with the back of the can. Now we can extract science out of collisions! And isn't that just the most Kerbal thing ever? It's science from crashes, well, crashes of tiny, tiny little particles of dust, and also it's made from a coffee can, and that... That is wonderful. So yes, that is the one part it will run a dust analysis and can be run all over the place, on land, in orbit, etc. And will change per biome. Just like the majority of other experiments, it will have a unique, uh, different scientific results depending on where you take the test, which is always cool. So let's actually jump to orbit, where I, of course, have a satellite set up with a couple of these, actually quite a few of these, strapped to it so we can uh, take a gander at a couple of the experiment results that you can get. Now, of course, here is my uh, dust satellite here. Let's just get a good little image of it for the thumbnail. Perfect. There we go. And back with the UI. Lovely. I have my thumbnail for the video. And as you can see, we just have a number of different little tin cans here. And if we open up one of these dust experiments here in in orbit, we are currently, I believe, over the highlands. Yes, Kerbin Highlands. There we are. So dust analysis from space just above Kerbin Highlands. The dust forms into a pancake-shaped cloud. This could cause a counter glow? Interesting. I hadn't seen that one yet. And if we just reset the experiment there, and of course not save it because, well... <laughs> I'm not in science uh, game mode at the moment. And let's adjust our orbit a bit so we're over the desert and we can run the experiment yet again. So you can see another biome and what its results are. Yep, there we go, over the Kerbin Deserts. We found evidence of extremely fine particles of mineral dust. Perfect, there we are. Let's reset it again and try it one more time over here. So pretty much directly over the space center, more or less, and take an analysis from this location. And there we, oh, this is again Kerbin Highlands. Oh, oh yeah, we're like directly over those mountains, aren't we? Ah, reset. Okay, ocean. We'll, we'll settle for ocean. <laughs> All right, so let's grab that one. And just over Kerbin, a different dust up here. It seems to form into strange shapes. 
Ah, very befitting for Kerbal Science. There we are. Now, of course, this will give you different results if you are over at the moon, as well as Minmus, and that's really what it was geared towards because, of course, the real-world experiment was the lunar dust experiment. So this one really has its scientific results geared towards Kerbin orbit and, of course, the celestial bodies of Kerbin in the immediate area. Uh, but yes, it is still a useful experiment, though, anywhere in the star system, as well it is science, and science is a good thing. And that is really all to show off about this mod. It's a cool little part, just a simple experiment, but has plenty of variation with its actual results, and considering its size, should be able to easily be popped on to pretty much any mission you're gonna send out into the cosmos. So if you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, which I would definitely suggest you do, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual, but that's going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next, but until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one. Now I'm off to take more dust experiments in other places. Later, folks!